All right, I'm gonna start my morning with this scent shop. Vegetal Slightly Iodine Scent. Good morning! Today is the 11th and I am just about to have lunch. Um, I worked a bit and then edited my video for day 9 and I'm getting that up right now. It's uploading to YouTube right now. Um, I feel like I've been doing pretty good at keeping up and also having enough content I guess or enough like I don't know, things to film. I really thought it was going to always just sort of be like always the same. So this morning before work, I knit a little bit, watched a Penrose Knits Vlogmas and uh, watched Steve play a new game because we beat Alan Wake 2. Um, the new game is called Chance of Sonar, like chanting chance. Um, it's very interesting. It's a game about sort of deciphering um, languages. So it looks like different like cast levels have um, different languages and then you're trying to figure out first what the one language is and then using that plus additional context to figure out what the second language is etc while you're also progressing in the game so it's been really fun so far um this morning I did drink the Sencha from my advent it was really good I love a good like earthy um tea so it's not a surprise that I liked the Sencha um I'm trying to work through those. <laughs> um, in a previous Vlogmas, I had a tea advent. I'm trying to think of the brand. Was it a Pucka tea advent? I think it was, um, which was fun. And I would drink that. I would try to drink that at the end of the night, that same night. But also I was able to like get each Vlogmas uploaded every day. Um, and by every day, I mean like at the end of each night for the following day. Um, but yeah, so today, uh, working, today's Quinn's first day of a Monday daycare, um, that's nice. Steve has already informed me that he will be taking Quinn, uh, this afternoon and <laughs> has tasked me with fixing the basement, um, which is almost entirely, like, my, my mess up. Oh, this hair has been bothering me this whole time. Why will not it go? Okay. Um, it is all full of yarn and just messy. So I'm probably going to film that later so you can come along with me while I satisfyingly make something go from nightmare to better. Um, you'll also see how I haven't tried like that hard, but I have somewhat strategically filmed when it it's just like disaster but we're not in there and except for at the very end of the night and then we're just sitting on the couch like playing games knitting and watching something right like <laughs> it's not like yeah anyway so I'll, I'll get to that tonight um and to be clear for anyone who's like why is he not doing it first of all it's entirely my mess second of all like things like doing this I like doing that I like taking a disaster area and making it nice. I um, am also just general, like Steve is much more of a good enough cleaner than I am. Um, and I'm like, no, let's just do it right while we're doing it. Um, I also am the one who likes doing house projects. Like um, when I was pregnant, I renovated our bathroom um, based on inspiration from watching Hannah Duggan's videos, which you'll see in um, December 9th's Vlogmas. Um, that's like, oh, you can do things yourself, you know? And I do enjoy those those projects. Like I'm, I'm much more likely to do those kinds of things. Like the game room downstairs where Steve works and has um, all of the games and whatnot. Like I, I carpeted that, like that was entirely, I mean, he helped of course, but I was the one who like cut the carpet around to fit into the closet and like all that kind of stuff. Like, it's just like fun for me to do. So um, it's not like a, I don't know, sexist thing. It's it's a, I like doing house projects. I like making it look beautiful. I also really like 
when Steve comes home and it's like, oh my God, look how amazing it is. Like, I just, I like that. Literally, um, someone I follow in like the kid space is Tori Halpin. And she put up a poll a few months ago or weeks ago or something that she was saying that she has three kids and her youngest is one month younger than Quinn. And so it's been interesting to like watch her baby, very different from my baby, grow up. Um, but she had said that she was gonna be home all day with all three kids and that her husband was going to go out. Oh, and her kids are like three, two and six months. So, um, so they're all quite young. And she also is a state, it's like stay at home mom I guess her husband works from home also and um none of this matters this is definitely just me always having to explain context anyway the point is is she had said she's gonna be home all day and then she said oh you know based on some comments I'm getting or replies to that um I'm gonna put a poll up would you rather go do the errands or stay home with the kids and I would rather do the errands um and Steve is very happy to watch Quinn um if if we could combine both of our salaries and give them to me, he would rather be a stay-at-home dad and I would rather work. So that's just like a little about us. <laughs> um, also, Quinn behaves better for him than for me. So <laughs> that's, a, uh, that's a whole other thing. But, um, and behaves is not the right word, but he is happy. He is more content. <laughs> Like, this thing is, a, I mean, very quickly going to become obsolete because he's about to start moving, but, and then it became, we were talking yesterday, like, then it becomes a prison, but, um, like, he will literally never tolerate being in that for me, but he will for Steve. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's just funny how different he acts for different people. But anyway, let's open, um, some Advents. I haven't done any, like, opening an Advent in front of people, so, um, Let's start with my tea advent. You'll notice that I am terrible. Like, <laughs> these do not rip nicely, so. All right, day 11. Day 11 is right, oh, right, yeah. Let's get that open here. Hope you're having a good morning. Um, if not, I hope that it uh, turns around. All right, this one says, with time and patience, the blackberry leaf becomes silk my beautiful Terry. I hope you've been enjoying that all blackness. All right, this tea is Coral Garden. Jardin de Cora. I don't know how to say French. Um, a sun-drenched blend of pineapple and coconut that takes you on a delicious voyage through exotic flavors. I hate the word exotic. Um, all right, we'll see how I feel about this. I, oh, it says caffeine free. I was gonna say, I assume it's herbal. So I, I might like it, I, we'll see. It's how I'm very hit or miss, as I said, with fruit teas, so, but it says, I don't know, it looks all sunshiny. I hope it's good. And then um, my stitch marker advent from Firefly Notes. I've been really enjoying this. Um, it's It's been fun. Um, I really like that each day not only do they have like the stitch marker, but they also have a background that reflects the like actual marker. So like the mushroom one has a mushroom background, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this one is a nice, what are, what are these flowers called? Why can't I think of what they're called? They're called something. But yeah, I'll get a nice shot of that. I should really get all of my stitch markers together um, to get a picture of, or to get, visual of them to see how cute they are together and like this is on my front facing camera um so it's like you can't see like the colors the same way um but yeah so um i'm gonna eat lunch here in a minute and then i have a meeting at one the work that I'm supposed to do today is re is reliant on someone. Well, there's a little bit of additional work I could do. Okay, so I'll probably do that. So Nero looks like he's gonna try to jump up on my lap. Um, but yeah, I will check in a little bit later.
Are you jumping up? Are you gonna jump up? So most of what you see is often like this, but then you look down, oh no. So a lot of the, this over here is mostly just like blankets, there's like a few dishes and stuff like that, that's like all of our problem. I have my temperature blanket stuff over here, and then I have... Those are the remaining yarns for that I, well, that aren't in my bag for the doodle that I'm working on. Okay, please, that is so pretty. Those are trees, so pretty. Um, where I wind my yarn, and then all of my like mini skeins used to be in two fish bowls. I'm not gonna name names, but some of them I have accidentally broken it. It was not me or Steve, but I'm not gonna call the person out. It was an accident, and I'm not upset at all. But it was those fishbowls are super cheap it was more just like i have left the the yarn that were it wasn't even that many it was this one's full the, the other one was like the second one i had started i just left the yarn in a big pile my jacket's down here one of them for some reason um we just relocated the um uh, I, I, I know how to use this the printer down here and like printer stuff is on the floor over here that's our atg space that doesn't probably need a ton of work and then um this is, we hang Steve's shirts up here because he doesn't put them in the dryer. So, it like really shouldn't take all that much, but things have a way of getting away from you. Um, and then this is ostensibly like, it's this has my needles, this has larger needles, and then this is supposed to be more of a side table, but we always fill it with stuff. Like, why do we have cold medicine there? We just do. So, we need to... I need to go through and clean this up so it's not a disaster. How long do you think it'll take me? Why are you always rotating? Oh 
Oh, no. My big ass broke something. Damn it. <laughs> What the hell am I going to do with, with these tiny, tiny, tiny amounts? What am I going to do with these? Also, it's a rhetorical question. You don't need to tell me what you think that I should do with them. <laughs> ITG shoes. All right, you see that swift there? When I sat down, I sat down on one of the dolls that was in. It snapped. It's okay though, because it's just a little shorter, but it still goes in here. Sometimes you gotta be worried about your BFA. Damn it! My freaking phone! Mmm! I had storage full. I don't know what I missed. I missed stuff. So freaking annoying trying to get, like, clips and whatnot. Ha! Mm. So anyway been tidying it literally stopped filming after i was talking while i was talking about the, the the broken dowel that was so long ago i guess i'm just gonna have to pick it up where i left off right trying again so i Tidied up some of the floor. I tidied up some of that. I'm like not, I'm like, everything's like halfway. Tidied up some of the couch stuff. I need to vacuum really bad. I'm watching a Darcy Does It podcast. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And it, it's some cotton with little, um, I'm making a pile of stuff down here that I need to bring upstairs. I think this might have been last year for Christmas, but one of my friends is amazing and she made us coupons for India Palace and we have to have a joke to tell her. So freaking funny. I have mine, haven't used it. Okay, I thought I lost this. this is what I went to show you when I noticed that it was missed that I it stopped. Look at this beautiful little stitch marker from Lock and Lou. I just opened it. 
Okay, just real quick, I thought I'd talk about a couple of my stitch marker storages. So I do have like just a metal thing that I keep all of the light bulb markers basically that I have. I also have this cute little container that used to contain just like closed circle ones um, that were not these, that are other ones I put in a different container, which I'll show you. But this is circle closed markers. Any random ones that I find around while I'm knitting. I got this at a garage sale for like 25 cents or 50 cents or something like that years and years ago. I freaking love it. I don't know. It's so cute. And then <laughs> this container, which was made by a friend of mine, and they didn't like it. So I was like, I want it. It was just for fun, but um, he didn't like it, but I want it. This is where I put like my big, my big stitch markers and then etc. So we've got like this little um, dragon fruit, little Starbucks mug, another one of my veggie ones. Uh, my Whitney Marie Anderson. This is a UV color changing little mama. You know, simply serving. Little Monstera. Another Lock and Lou. Little Crimbus trees. So, yeah. Oh, another Lock and Lou. Oh, this is so nice. These are so cute. I have so many cute stitch markers. Oh, blackbird anyway that's some of my like main storage and I keep them over on the shelf because that's where I'm usually sitting while I'm knitting and then for travel years ago I haven't see I haven't even taken the sticker off I bought this from um, uh, darn it anyway in Stillwater of Minnesota but this is a little cheap I keep scissors um, uh, darning needles, a couple extra big stitch markers, some crochet stitch markers, a ton of light bulb stitch markers, and a few closed ring ones. So these silver ones up in the corner were the ones that were in that flower case. They're some of my favorites, and I often knit out of the house, so I wanted to put them all in here. And this is perfect for me. This says Jill or Julie, Ari Math, Goal Ideas, and Sped Courses. Literally would have been like 2017 or earlier. Where, how, how, where, how? Alright, it's looking almost ready to vacuum. And you bring this stuff upstairs. And then a couple other things. Okay, um, I've got everything upstairs and put away that I need to. Just a few more things left in here, and then I can vacuum and also clean up apparently dried cat puke don't want to talk about it one of my I mean, cats are very old my cats are and one of them secretly comes down here to puke uh usually nothing because he doesn't eat so um yeah so i gotta clean that up and then i'm gonna scoop the cat boxes get some laundry and then you know maybe i'll be able to run out and get some groceries
like we have this bag of, let's see what size this is. Okay, this is three to six months. This is newborn. We saw this bag in the corner, I don't know. Gotta donate that, Quinn's almost eight months old. So, cleaned this out. Just keeps our couple of pens, markers, scissors, um, bottle opener for our Topo Chico sparkling water. Some necessities like nail files, tape measures, etc. Although again, I typically work over there, so I keep all my real knitting necessities over there. All of my knitting needles, which are organized, big needles, and then one project. This just fell down. This is for tea bags in the event that, um, in the event that we bring tea that needs to be steeped. Cleaned all this off, cleaned all this off. Oh, this can go down now that I vacuumed. Cleaned all the gross spots, vacuumed. Don't know what we're gonna do with this yet, if we're gonna keep it or not, so I'm just leaving it there. And vacuumed. So yeah, it's looking good. Um. In this basket are those acrylic yarns that I was talking about, a stitch pro um, cross-stitch project, and then the bowl. I don't know where that can go either. We don't really have a lot of like space for things like that. Like The bowl might go over here. Um, that's the yarn for my Infinity Scarf workout stuff that's been there. My It looks messy, but I swear it's not. Um, and then a couple blankets. Steve and I really like comforters as blankets uh, when we're like just chilling. So I like that top white one, and he likes the second one. And then our big beanbag chair which we'll see if we keep that in the future. But yeah, that's where we're at. It's looking so much better. But yeah, I'm really proud of my progress today. It's looking so much better down here. I have to check with Steve about a couple of things to see like, is, did, is it truly clutter-free? Like, do we need some of these figurines that are up here? Like, for example, we have, um, we have like these guys from Free. We saw Free, what, like 10 years ago? Um, probably keep the Disguy ones, maybe. Those Pokemon ones, the prints and stuff for my nephew. Like, all of these will keep. Keep that. Keep that. But do we need everything? Um, and then this we should just plug back in. This is a digital frame. That's from um, Cowboy Bebop, Ed, Ed and Ein. Got a little Christmas tree. Get that ambiance, our movies, our ITG machine, etc. We just moved our printer down here. This mini fridge contains our drinks. Don't know what to do about the yoga ball yet. Um, might put it in the cubby hole. <laughs> 